Greetings from the Brownville Christian Church and an encouraging word. I'm Bob Chipwood, pastor of the congregation. Well, today I'm near the historic 1939 Missouri River Bridge, which connects Brownville to Missouri or Nebraska to Missouri. Bridges are so valuable to all of us. Bridges, well, they come in all sizes and shapes, but no matter what their shape or size, bridges are meant for one thing, to get you from one side to the other side. There was a time when we couldn't use this beautiful bridge due to the worst flood in this area on the Missouri River. Farmers couldn't transfer grains, college students couldn't attend classes at Peru State College or Northwest Missouri State College without additional hours of travel. Employees at Brownville's nuclear plant had to have apartments on this side of the river and only go home on weekends. It took twice as long to get to the stores or to the interstate. The river became eight miles wide rather than flow beneath the bridge. And some roads and bridges are still impassable after two years of activity. I certainly learned how important a bridge was during those flood days. A priest and a pastor stood near a curve on a road holding signs the end is near, read the priest sign, while the pastor sign warned, turn around before it's too late. While a driver in a small truck roared right past them, yelling out the window, idiots, and he shook his head at them, blasted his horn, stomped on the gas, and away he went. A moment later, the ministers heard the sound of screeching tires, followed by a great big splash. The priest turned to the pastor and said, that's the fourth one today. Maybe we should change our signs to read bridge out ahead. One can't go south, you can't go west or east without a bridge from our community. These Structures keep people employed, able to see loved ones, permit shopping for food and supplies, and worshipers are able to gather for worship with friends. The Apostle Paul teaches us we believers have a mediator between God and us, and that mediator is Jesus. He is the bridge over our troubled lives, our sins, our walk with God. During these days of coronavirus, violence, sickness, death, it is comforting to know that we have an advocate in Jesus who intercedes in our behalf before our Heavenly Father. And in addition to his being an advocate, he prays to God for us. What vital blessings he provides. Today I urge you, to lean on his everlasting arms, to walk beside him, connect with him, to help you get to the other side of your fears and your doubts. You can count on him. He will not fail you. In times like these, we need a bridge over troubled waters. His word, it will assure you. His love, well, he embraces you. His sacrifice is to forgive you, and his prayers and petitions permit us access to God. His Spirit will comfort us. The encouraging word today is from 1 Timothy, the second chapter and the fifth verse. There is one God and one mediator between God and us, the man Christ Jesus. So I suggest Let's travel on with him. Let us pray. Thank you, God, for the Christ, who is our advocate, our 
one who intercedes in our behalf, the one who is our mediator between you and us. We're so grateful that we have a bridge to be able to get to the other side from this life to the next one. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.